Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Yeah, yeah, kuke, bawoni, ke du wagwan. How you all doing, guys? Okay, so today we are going to be talking about something very interesting. Okay, something that is quite different, right? And that is um the things that we wish we brought to the UK with us when we were coming that we didn't bring and also the things that we brought that we are really really thankful to god that we brought okay i hope you guys understand so please if you know anybody coming into the uk anytime soon maybe in december uh, sorry um january or may or next year september please share this video with them because it, might be, it will be very helpful to them okay because if you're new on this channel please click on the subscribe button i beg at the beg okay for content like this i mean on this channel we talk about japa we talk about lifestyle we talk about food content i mean i make videos on foods as well even though i've not made anyone yet it's been very busy okay but i promise you guys the food recipe very very soon okay so if you like content like this please click on the subscribe button all right also like share and comment all right to my returning subscribers you guys thank you so much for always coming back all right i really appreciate you guys okay so without wasting much of your time let's get straight into the video <music> that we wish we brought with us on our way here to the uk would be broom i mean that our niger broom guys don't, don't underestimate the power of that broom okay that broom is is powerful okay we really wish we brought that broom along with us although eventually i asked somebody i begged somebody to bring it for me when she was coming which she did shout out to Tosin, okay thank you so much and although it's not like they don't have brooms here okay they have brushes you know how they have vacuum cleaners but you know there's this thing that our broom does okay that no other brush can do okay so if you are a local person like me and you like to sweep your house thoroughly please create um space in your box for that broom even if it's one try and bring it before you familiarize yourself with the way they use their brush here okay another thing that we wish we brought that we didn't bring would be head warmers um it's not as if those things are not here those things are here you know but you don't want to come in and start spending money start spending the money you brought on little little things that you can actually find in Nigeria, you know for 800 naira 1000 you know and then or before you familiarize yourself with where they sell these things here, you know you already have those things. Fine, we brought those things but for my children, but I and my husband, we didn't bring for ourselves. So, and we really wish we brought head warmers from Nigeria. You can find those ones anyway. Even uh, Akube, you know now, those been down select. You can actually find head warmers there, especially my brothers and sisters in the north. If you're in Jos, Kaduna, Abuja, anywhere, those things are actually everywhere. In, in the north in nigeria okay so you'll be doing yourself a favor to bring head warmers as you're coming another thing we didn't bring that we that i wish i brought are my non-stick pots my pots guys i i brought pots we brought pots you know but those stainless pots and they are very very small so there's a limit to how much i can cook at a time but with those my pots i wish i didn't discard them although they are heavy right and that's the main reason why i didn't bring them because i thought oh my these things are just going to take my luggage allowance but on getting here and seeing the prices of pots here my brothers and sisters the least the cheapest non-stick pot i saw is 40 pounds for two sets then the ones that have frying pan that are like three in one is like 50 something upwards you know although maybe it's the places i went to i don't know if they are cheaper L in other places but please if you can create space in your box for your pots even if it's two even if it's one try and bring your pot your non-stick pot so at least before you start any money you are still using those pots i wish i brought those pots with me okay so please don't be quick to discard those pots yet you can create space little space in your box 
for your non-stick pots okay at least instead of packing clothes and other things that are not really relevant you can create space for your pots fine we brought pots you know but you know pots pots are different from pots okay so another thing i wish we brought another thing we wish we created space for in our box <clears throat> would be powdered milk enough powdered milk guys enough powdered milk enough powdered milk we brought only one powdered milk you can imagine for a family of four okay so i wish we bought like three or four packs because guess how much a, a tin of powdered milk is here in african stores four pounds five pounds for one tin of powdered milk that's the small one not even the big one the small one is for five pounds okay so if you can try to bring your powdered milk it will be nice at least you get familiar you start introducing their liquid milk here to your system before you exhaust the ones you've brought because my brothers and sisters they are liquid milk here no be so as for us, so I don't know if other people like it, but you know, it's not what we are used to back home. Okay, so you want to bring enough powdered milk, at least two packs or three, at least. If you have children, bring four, bring five. At least before you exhaust it, you would have started introducing them to those to their liquid milk here. So I cannot overemphasize on the fact that you should bring enough powdered milk, guys. If it's Dano, if it's Peak, if it's um, anyone try and bring enough okay we brought one sachet but we exhausted it within two weeks or so so we had to buy the liquid one which is watery to me so another thing we wish we brought with us would be iron sponge the iron there are iron sponge here but their iron sponge is very soft I don't know if you know that other type of iron sponge. They have it in we have it in Nigeria as well. The very soft one. So you can try to buy a pack of that our normal regular iron sponge. Or if you don't mind using, or if you are someone that cooks very well like me, try and bring iron sponge from Nigeria. It will do you good. Okay. Another thing we wish we brought is um spoons for soup soup spoons she be obey my friend had to give me one when she when we, when they came here because i didn't bring any one and i could not locate and I, we didn't have enough money to start buying those things when we came so you want to do yourself good by at least keep one or two from your kitchen okay when you are coming please don't discard everything don't give everything off just try and keep one or two spoons, soup spoons, okay? So that when you come, if you find yourself in an Airbnb or a, or a hotel that allows you cook, you know, you can start using these things before you start working and earning money, okay? So please don't forget, I was using a um, plastic spoon, the one we used to eat to serve, you know, and that wasn't convenient at all until my friend came and then she gave me a plastic sp a, a, a spoon, for soup okay so you want to bring spoon for soup spoons for eating as well plastic spoons for eating plastic forks for eating okay and then plates you want to bring plates plus disposable plates or any one those disposable plates at least so you can start using those ones to eat before you start any money or you locate stores that you can buy those things so though we brought those things we brought plastic spoons we brought um disposable plates and they were very very helpful in fact we are still using some of them till now and we've been like a month and one week here in the uk so please you want to bring plates that you can use to eat and spoons plastic plastic spoons those ones are not heavy so they won't really weigh much okay so you want to bring plastic spoons for eating plastic spoon forks for eating as well then your plates for eating then spoons for serving serving spoons all right another thing that we didn't bring that we really wish we brought is rice fine i saw some videos when i was when, when i was coming because i really watched a lot of youtube videos and some some people were saying don't bring rice it's heavy you can bring rice but actually it depends on you you know it's a personal choice 
I wish we brought rice because there are rice here. Before you find correct rice, my brother, my sister, it is yam pepper skata skata. Okay, because most of the rice here is basmati, and you cannot even tell which is good and which is not good, you know. So you, you would have taken the risk of buying and cooking it before you know what kind of rice it is. And their basmati rice here is not like our basmati rice in Nigeria. Their basmati rice here is very, very soft and is not what we are really used to like that. So please, you want to bring rice, even if it's one derika or two, before you start getting used to their own rice here or before you locate where you can actually buy our type of rice back home okay fine is rice can be heavy but you can actually create space it's going to be worth it trust me so you want to bring enough rice okay then another thing we wish we brought that we didn't bring would be short umbrellas Umbrellas are actually cheap here, Sha, but if you don't mind, you can still bring shorts, those short, short ones. The mistake we made was that we brought those long ones. We, we, we brought umbrellas, but we brought the long ones, okay? We brought one each for everybody, but we wish we brought those short ones. You know why? Because those short ones are very handy. You can always throw them in your bag whenever you are going out but you see those long ones you can't be dragging it up and down let's say you have somewhere to go after work you know from there you are going somewhere you know with those long ones everybody will know you are carrying umbrella but with those short ones you just simply put them in your bag and you are good to go so we wish you brought those short ones and then the reason why i'm saying you should bring is because you never can tell you can come in and it's raining you know their weather here is bipolar you know you can't really predict and before you start earning money and buying things you know you already have those ones even if they do they won't last you know just bring something so that you can save you yourself the stress of spending when you come at least even if you spend you know that okay you're spending on major things that are not you know avoidable things that you know you must spend on like your rent you know like transportation you know not that you come spend money on bus tickets spend money on this spend money on that when you can easily bring those things from nigeria all right so another thing the last thing that we wish we brought that we didn't bring our antibiotics see i packed drugs i packed drugs but i don't know how i forgot antibiotics fine it's not good to use antibiotics without prescription but you know the way we are in nigeria you can actually buy those things and you know start using them once you start feeling some symptoms so we wish you brought some even if it's one sachet or two yeah because you might need it so eventually when the need arise you know you have it because here they won't sell it to you over the counter and you know it's not easy to see a gp here so you want to bring antibiotics okay another thing then now let's move into the things that we brought that we are really thankful to god that we brought okay we are really grateful to this is me saying thank you to so many youtubers okay they made it so easy for me to pack some things i wish i'm really really thankful to most of these youtubers because without them i wouldn't have brought these things so i'm thankful that i brought some of these things okay and number one on my list is knife we brought our knife okay i was able to wrap it in between our bed sheets so somehow it scaled through okay so please you want to bring your knife although it's not like knife is expensive here all these things i'm saying it's not like you can't find them here okay but the thing is you don't want to come and start buying 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 you can't you cannot imagine how much you would have spent on buying these things even though they look cheap you know one can go for two pounds this one but by the time you gather all this small small money you're spending at the end of the day it will cost a lot so you want to bring your knife even if it's one you're already using at home please bring your knife because when you come before you know where they are buying or you know you can't go to your neighbor and say please borrow me knife do this do that you want, you want to have your own and you might want to cook so please bring your knife one or two will do so that when you come you can start cooking and you won't have to worry about where to buy how much to buy or to borrow or you know uh -huh. so one thing we brought that we're really thankful that we brought is knife another thing we brought that might help you that we are thankful we brought is um 
our manual grater you know those manual graters those ones you can just quickly use for students those ones for students i can just quickly use to make rice <coughs> rice pepper we brought it and we are really thankful that we brought it because even till now we are still using it you know you know it's very quick and handy you can just quickly make something out of it so we're really thankful that we brought it you know those manual graters so you might want to bring one of those okay before you buy your blender or you, if you're coming to a house that is not furnished that doesn't have a blender you might want to bring it okay then another thing we brought hey god that i'm happy we brought in fact some of my friends can attest to this fact that it is good to bring this thing it's bed sheets my brothers and sisters you want to bring enough bed sheets bed sheets here are not cheap bed sheets are like 40 pounds okay so please you want to bring your bed sheets go to yaba go to if you're in Ibadu, go to alesh in law here go to Ogunpa. please quickly go and sew bed sheets so make enough two or three before you come enough shadow will last you for a while before you come okay because bed sheets are not cheap here so we are thankful to god that we brought bed sheets okay so if you're if you're planning to come anytime soon and you've you and bed sheets are not on your list please you want to do yourself good by adding it to your list all right please bed sheets bed spreads whatever you call it bed sheets pillowcase okay you want to bring enough of that another thing we brought that we are thankful that we brought is cereal cereal because of my children you know before you introduce this the cereals here although they are almost the same thing there are cocoa pops here as well there are there are um rice krispies here of course they are even the ones that own it so and um golden Mon. although golden Mon, you can't find golden Mon anywhere you can only find golden Mon in african stores okay so before and you know things about african stores they are not cheap so you want to bring these things before you start buying okay you want to bring enough golden money if you're coming with your family if you're coming with your children you want to bring enough golden money enough cocoa pops you know enough of these things before you start buying so you want to start have enough things to eat in your hotel room or airbnb as the case may be before you start going out to show okay because apparently when you come you have to start you have to you are still spending the money you brought from Nigeria. Okay, so you don't want to exhaust everything on food or you know little little things that you could have brought from nigeria all right so another thing we brought that we are really thankful that we brought is my pots i think i said that earlier those small pots those stainless pots but you you might if you have enough space please include your normal pots those head pots that you think are heavy those non-stick pots you might want to add them as well Okay, they will come in very handy so i'm thankful that we brought pots you know because we we're able to use them the first few weeks before we be, we got stable so you want to bring pots you know so that you can start cooking immediately you come in okay so imagine combining your pot your grater your knives you know with your food stuff that's the end now you are good to go you're already cooking okay you have your you see you have your bono you have everything in your airbnb so what else okay so you want to bring enough of those things all right most times we just focus on food 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 what are you going to use to cook the food what are you going to use to eat the food okay so you want to complement everything and balance everything up it's good to bring enough food stuffs. of course you can't even overemphasize the fact that food is what you should take like major part of your um, luggage but at the same time you have to also bring materials that you will need to cook the food okay so the last thing we are going to go that we brought will be our plastic spoons plastic plates um you know i said that earlier forks now uh forks plastic forks pl plastic spoons so if you have cereal um, i mean if you have noodles or any of those things you can always use your plastic forks to eat them if you have kids please bring their plates you know you have um spoons plastic spoons plastic forks plastic plates you know those things are not heavy so they'll fit into your luggage very well so you want to bring plates that you use to start eating before you come if you have enough space bring your cosmetics bring your soap bring your your, your creams 
your black soaps you know those things you use normally but please check them into your main luggage all right so i hope i have been able to help someone with this video okay if there's anything i did not mention all right please be kind enough to mention it in the comment section okay if there's anything i omitted among this list please mention it in the comment section okay you might be helping somebody out there all right thank you so much for watching until i see you guys in my next video okay please stay safe and god bless you bye